father, king of glory, might take their dinner. I surrender unto your rebel hands this precious moment, king of glory. As I deliver this one to the over of law and the restoration for, there is hope to your children, O king of glory. It doesn't matter what they have gone through 2020. But as we come to 2023, the over there is hope. There is restoration, O King of Glory. Be exalted, be magnified, Jehovah. I'm nothing but God use me as your vessel. I decree that you increase in your work, O Lord. I magnify you, Daddy, for I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. This precious moment I'm talking about to two sons. And in these two sons, we are the prodigal son and the elder son. I want to talk about a Gentile and a Jew. A Jew did not mean much to seek salvation because he was blessed. But there is a Gentile who had to struggle to get salvation. And this salvation, we get it, we got it through the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ on the cross. So today, we are talking about this prodigal son. This prodigal son went to his father's He asked for his inheritance so that he can leave and go. The one is telling me that the father did not escape giving the prodigal son his inheritance. He divided his inheritance and gave him what he wanted to get. And when the prodigal son got what he wanted to get, he went away. I'm talking to somebody today. This prodigal son was starting a journey of back. Hallelujah. Back standing in the heart of the man. It began slowly by slowly. The prodigal son took the inheritance and wasted. When he went, he was taken as somebody who is not worthy. Because according to the Bible, it is in that he went and he joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his field to feed the swine. So here we see that this man was not accepted. He was taken as a citizen in that country. So what I'm talking is that after finishing and dismantling what God has given you, you are going to eat with the swine. After you dismantle the benefit that God has given you, you are there, you are an intercessor. You are there, you are a pastor. You are not doing what God has given you. You are compromising to the world. You are going to eat with the swine. What we know is that I have said the sinning starts in the heart. It begins in the heart. And it, it goes gradual. And when it is goes on gradual and gradual, it is not long that you will start eating with the sin, with the swine. Sin starts taking you to far places you don't want to go. Sin, when it starts, starts with you and it starts gradual, it will cost you more than you can afford to pay. So this young man, he started eating with the soy. He could not get the food. He could not even be able to dress himself. He could not even be able to walk and mingle with others. Because one thing, he was lonely. The people, or wherever he could be able to stay, it was to stay with the pig. So when we see someone sinning, one thing, you will eat with the swine. You will be lonely. Your life will not be normal. As a pastor, if you don't take the path that God wants you to take, the world is waiting for you to ruin you. It is, it is the high time you start understanding. Are you, where, are you eating with the swine? 2022, have you been waiting with the swine? Have you wasted the inheritance that God has given you? We are sons. We are highest in the kingdom. Have you wasted what God has given you? Have you dismantled what God has given you? This prodigal son dismantled. He went and enjoyed life. He went and stayed in a luxurious life. And the one is telling us that Reza, whatever he was given when it was over, he could not even be able to afford something to cater for his life. He was eating with his wife. He was not even given. Actually, he was stealing. He was getting food from the swines. So this moment, I want to talk to someone. When you have spent all that God has given you, Satan is ready to take you. He is ready to abuse you. He is ready to make you useless. The prodigal son and the prince. And now we are seeing that the prince, that the prodigal son has, has been dismantled. It is nothing. He has been subjected to nothing. 
the Jewish people, they were given salvation freely. The Jewish people, they were blessed. When the children of Israel were walking in the desert, when they were walking with Moses, they were blessed, and God had given them everything they needed. But the one is telling us that they rebelled. They did not want to follow what God wanted them to follow. And as we talk right now, the Israelites, they are dismantled. They are in the various places of the world. They will come back to their senses towards the end. But at present, the Gentiles are enjoying the salvation of the Lord. The one is telling us that when he was employed to unwilling employer, unwilling employer meaning that he was forcing himself, he was reducing himself to nothing, he was reducing himself to begging. There are people who are ministers of God. There is someone watching me today. My sister, my brother, you are there. You are subjecting yourself to nothing. You are reducing yourself to nothing. During this Christmas, I believe people have not subjected themselves to nothing. I believe people have not been taking alcohol. I believe people have not been doing prostitution. I believe people have not been fighting. Don't reduce yourself to, to nothing. Don't subject yourself to eat with the way. It is the high time to understand your calling. Know who you are. You are blessed. You are a great man. You are a man of valor. But if you don't understand who you are, you will go to somewhere you are where people do not like you. You will go to a church where people do not like you. You will eat with the swine. And the moment you realize you are eating with the swine, do what the prodigal son did. When the prodigal son realized that he was eating with the swine, when he realized that he was a beggar, he took a step of turning and saying, I am struggling here. I'm eating with the swine. I'm struggling here. I am not eating well. I am not dressing well. I'm not even bathing. I am stinking. There is somebody somewhere there. You are eating with the swine. You are stinking. You are not doing the work of the Lord the way it should be done. It is the high time. 2022 is over. 2023, it is the high time to take your time. It is the high time to turn back from where you have been and go and tell God, Father, I have sinned. I'm not even worthy to be called one of your sons. I'm here. I want you, Daddy, to embrace me. The prodigal son realized who he was. And he knew that in his father's home there is eating and drinking. There is Mary. There is wearing. There is a lot of things that is going on in his father's house. They arise who you are today. You are prone to go wherever you are. 2022 has been a year that you have not enjoyed. 2022 has been a year that we have not enjoyed. We have undergone a lot of things. There have been a lot of things pressing us. Things have been coming up. You have not been able to buy even things that you could eat well. You could eat something balanced because the situation financially it was not worthy. I'm talking to someone today. If you are 2022, as you read a Press you. You are one of the prodigal son. If you have not worshipped God in the manner that God wanted you to worship, you are one of the prodigal son. It is the high time to tell God that you owed me. It is the high time to tell the Holy Spirit to direct you, to lead you, so that you can go back to your father. God wants someone who wants to come back. God wants someone who is ready to repent. God wants someone who is ready to say, I am ready to go back to my father. God wants someone who is ready to repent. God wants someone who is ready to listen to his voice. God wants someone who is ready to accept the Holy Spirit's power. Jesus died on the cross. And he died that we can be saved. That we get salvation. And you get it freely. The Bible tells me in John 10, 10, the enemy coming to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came that we give, we have life. And we have it more abundantly. I want you to talk to someone today. Don't be, be reduced to nobody. Don't be reduced to nobody to take care of the swine. The devil has forced people to eat the, to eat with the swine. It is the high time to know that. Devil has nothing for free. Everything that you get from the enemy, it has a cause. And it has a terrible price. So if you leave your father, if you leave your home, if you leave the ministry, if you leave working for God, 
There is something terrible that is coming. There is nothing for free from the enemy. Enemy is going to squeeze you. He is going to dismantle you. I'm talking to somebody somewhere there watching me. I don't know what you have done in the ministry. I don't know what you have done in your home. Mama, I don't know what you have done in your family. Baba, I don't know what you have done in your family. Young man, this December, I don't know what you have done. But that behavior you have done, there is nothing for free from the enemy. If he has a cause, you have to pay a terrible price. And instead of paying a terrible price, it is the high time to say that. Oh, I have eaten with the swine enough. Enough is enough. I'm not eating something balanced. I'm in a place where I cannot be able even to worship well. As I talk right now, there are people who are drinking water from dirty ponds. There are people who are drinking, drinking water from dirty rivers and wells. What do I talk? There are churches, there are places of worship that the people are not getting the right information from Jehovah. It is the high time to understand who you are. It is the high time to know that. When the first year I come with Ipokatika, to the pastor na first year kuingia, kuabundu na kumtukusa mungu. Ni wakati wako wakujua uko na first year kuinama, ya kumtukusa mungu na kumuinua, you are only through God. Don't drink water from those dirty ponds. Don't drink water from those dirty wells. You are a prodigal son. Come 2023, can you tell God to hold you? Can you tell God to direct you? Can you tell God to hire you? The first thing you are going to do, you have to fully animate that you are hunger, that you don't have enough, that you have done something wrong, that you have misused what God has given you, and we have God who can satisfy your hunger. Don't eat with his wife. There is the restoration. God is restoring you from what you have lost. God is bringing you back. And whatever that you have lost, the Bible tells me in Psalms 126, verse 5 to 6, that those who reap in tears, they shall, they, they, those who re, they sow in tears, they shall reap in joy. It is the high time to know that. Utaenda na upande ukiria, lakini utarundi ukivuna ukicheka. Ni wakati wako wakujierewa na kujijua. Have the full animation. The Bible tells in 1 John 1, 9, tukisema atuna zambi, tunajindanganya na ukweli ya umo ndani mwetu. It is the high time to animate na ujua ya kuamba. 2022, you have been a prodigal son. 2022, you have not been doing what God has been wanting you to do. My fellow minister there, what have you been doing? You can't lie to yourself. You know yourself and you understand what you have been doing. Ask yourself and check yourself and see what you have been doing. Have you been doing what God wants you to do? Take a step of realizing your need. Take a step of knowing who you are and you arise and start your way with God. The prodigal son started his way to go back to see his father. Now, the prodigal son did not lay his blame to anyone. He knew he was to be blamed. And that is why I'm saying in 1 John 1, 9, if we say we have no sin, we are lying, and the truth it is not in us. If we say we have not done something, we will be lying. The prodigal son did not lay his blame on anyone. He realized he has done something wrong. It is the high time you are realize what you have done. It is the high time you turn back and go and tell your daddy, daddy, 2022, I have, been not, I have not been interceding. I have not been preaching well. I have not been singing well. You are in the singing ministry. Tell God to give you songs of revelation so that those songs can bless someone. It is the high time to know who you are. The son went back and said he was not even worthy to be called his son. It is the high time for you to humble. It is the high time for you to have the sign of humility. It is the high time for you to go back. Anyone who goes back to the father is someone who is willing. You are willing to tell your father, Daddy, I'm not worthy even to be called one of your sons. 
We are not worthy. It is the high time we understand how we have been doing the work of God. It is the high time in your family to understand how you have been operating with your husband. It is the high time to understand how you have been operating with your wife. It is the high time, someone who is employed somewhere, to know how you have been operating with your employer. You have been eating with a swine. You have not been doing the work the way it should be done. The Bible says as you work, don't work as you are working for man, someone employed somewhere. Do it for the glory of God. So this precious moment, Revelation 22, 15, it is talking about the crying, the crying of the spirit to the lost. Believers, it is your, time, your high time to cry for someone. It is the high time, Pastor, to cry for someone who needs help. There are people outside there. They have really been hooked by the enemy. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to do it. But you, who is an intercessor, have you been interceding for the souls that really need God? The prodigal son was lost. And I believe there was someone somewhere who was interceding for this young man so that he could realize what he has done. And the Bible tells us that when when the prodigal son realized he was lost and he decided to go back, his father saw him as far and he learned, he learned through the spirit of humility that was with his son. He decided to go back and see his father. And when his father was far and saw his lost son, he came back and they hugged the son. Our God is great. And he's not ready to leave us. Our God is ready to hug us. And that is why he gave his only begotten son who has been found. And in the process he's going to die. And he will be hanged on the cross for our sake. God is ready to embrace us. The salvation of God is ready. Are you ready to ascend and to realize who you are? Are you ready to humble? Are you ready to come back to the Lord? The son humility broke the heart of the father. Father, are you ready to humble? In which level are you able to humble so that God can feel you are humbling is to a level that he can come to embrace you? I'm talking to someone today. It is the high time to know that when the older son was left, he was left in Mary. He was left enjoying. I'm talking to someone there and gentle. You have been left in Mary. You have been enjoying what God has given her. I am talking to someone in church. There is a backslider there who has been back, who had backslided. The moment he realized he has backslided and he wants to come back to God, God is ready to accept him. But you, the older son, you who has been in the church, you have been worshiping and serving in the church. When somebody who has backslided comes back, you don't, you are not ready to accept them. There is someone who has not been serving in church. And all of a sudden, Mungu anaibiu, anainuwa vipa, wanakarama za watu katika kanisa. Uko hapo ulikuwa mcheza kimbo. Unapo ona mtu anainuluwa katika kanisa. Wibu na chuki inaingia. Inaingia kwa nini? You are the older son. Because when the older son realized that the young son has come, the servant who was there with the older son, he was the one who realized first the younger son had come. But the older son was busy there farming and doing his thing. And when the servant went and went and realized that the young son has come, the father has welcomed the younger son. He has put on the love and the shoe. This older son was not happy. There is someone I'm talking to in church. I'm talking to someone in the family. There is someone in the family who is God is lifting. In that family where you are born, there is someone who has been down and God is lifting that person. You are not happy because someone in your family is lifted. Nina keme aroya wivu siku ya leo. Muzure ya kuamba, chuki ya kaini na habes, ilitoka wapi. Ni kwa sababu averi alibarikiwa kwa sababu ya dhabiu hile alitoka. Lakini kaini alitoka dhabiu ambayo haikuwa nzuri na inaonekana ni nzuri. Na wakati aliona dhabiu ya haberi imekubalika alipanga kumuua. Ni nakata kaini 2023 katika familia zetu. Kama kuna kaini alia katika maisha ya kanisa. Ni namkata katika jina la Yesu Kristo. This older son, he was not even able to know, to understand the season. But the younger son, he realized the season. 
When I talk about the Honda son, I'm talking about you Gentiles. There is someone there in church. You think you are born again. You are a pastor. You are preaching. You are talking in tongues. But how is you? Uko haji katika maisha yako na unduma ya watupare una undumia. Are you really serving them in spirit and truth? The Bible says in John 4, 23, 24, that we should worship God in truth and spirit. God is his spirit. Are you seriously guided by the Holy Spirit to guide the children of God? Mom and dad, they are at home. Are you really guiding your children the way they should go? The older son was jealous. The younger son has come back. And God has embraced the younger son. God is ready to embrace us. God is ready to take us far away. The Bible is saying, Others. The son who was in rags, God removed, yeah, the father removed the rags. Father removed those rags and put in a good robe and shoes and a ring. God is coming to embrace us. It doesn't matter what you have gone through. The visiting was there. There is the Mary. When Christ comes in our lives, there is Mary. After salvation, when people come back to senses, there is joy for the lost soul coming back home. I'm talking to somebody today. Our father is going to embrace us. The elder son knew in his heart that this young son had gone forever. But the young son has not gone forever. The young son, the moment he realized what he has done, when he realized he was eating with the swine, when he realized he is somewhere where he is not even embraced, where people do not even want to see him, where is he is eating with the swine, where he is eating the rubbish, he realized that he has to come back and come and see what God has for him. I want to talk to somebody today. Come back and know who you are. If you know your business and you know the business of your father, do the business of your father. If you know what God wants you to do, do it and do it the way it should be done. It is symbolic that there is joy in heaven when one believer, as when one soul accepts Jesus and be born again and come back to God. The elder son was angry, and it is true in nature. The Pharisees and the scribes, and the scribes they were rebellious. Jesus used to talk about the Pharisees and the scribes. I'm talking about the elder son and the younger son. God wants us to understand who we are. Know whether you are the younger son or the elder son. In church, are you serving God in a manner that is worthy? Are you serving God to please man or to please God? Are you serving God so that the pastor can see you or you are serving God to receive, to receive what comes from God? Are you serving for the sake of God or you are serving for the sake of man? It is the high time to understand who you are. Jesus wants us to accept him. He wants us to follow Example, the Christ-like character. Jesus came as the second Adam. And as we start this year, as we start this 2023, I'm talking to somebody. You are there. You have been serving in church. Somebody came along your way and you just sat down. You are sitting down because somebody mistreated you or somebody talked evil about you. It is the high time to start having the mind of the young as Anna and realize wherever you are seated and whatever you are doing, you are eating with the soil. It is the high time to start your journey. The elder son and the behavior of the elder son will take you nowhere because our father is ready to embrace us. Our father is ready to put on the robe on us, to put on the ring on us, to put on the shoes on us so that we can continue with the journey. Our daddy is ready to embrace us with the power of the Holy Spirit. So wherever you are seated, my dear brother, my dear sister, you have been serving there in church. I don't know where you are, but you are listening to me today. Kama kuna mtu alikuwaza katika kanisa, si wakati wako wakukuwaza. Hizi ni nyakati za mwisho. Tumefika mara mbapo, tunaitaji kutetea maisha yetu katika wokovu. Si wakati wako wakukura makombo. Kama wewe ni mmoja wawale wanakura makombo, usikure makombo. Kombo tena, kwa sababu buwana anakuitaji. Anaitaji hiyo unduma ambayo umekuwa ukifanya. Ni kwa sababu hiyo unduma kuna mtu inaenda kuvuza mahali. 
kunyamaza kwako siku ya mwisho when it comes to the hangers as the children of Israel the Jews when God is going to bring them back to receive the salvation when God is going to bring the Gentiles back to receive the salvation when Jesus Christ will be there saying my son you have done this and that enter to your joy where will you be it is the high time to understand who you are hata kama kuna mtu alikukwasa hata kama kuna mambo ulipitia na umelia uko katika mikono ya kutengenezwa na unahudwa na unatengenezwa the prodigal of son was squeezed and after being squeezed he realized who he was you are in the act of being squeezed tunaimba wimbo mara kwa mara tunasema niunde nitengeneze nifinyange na wakati watu wengi wanafinyangwa hatungojei kuvinyangwa it is the high time you quench uvinyangwe uundwe kabisa wakati umehundwa na umetengenezwa utakuwa dhahabu ambayo iliyo ya dhabana na maana iliyo ya dhamana na maana katika kazi ya Jehova uziachilia kazi ya Jehova yishe kama mwaka wa 2022 umepitia mapito magumu na mazito katika kanisa sio wewe wa kwanza kupitia hata sisi wafungaji kupitia tunalia na tunaamka na tunaendelea behave like the prodigal son it is not the high time pastor kufunga kanisa usiitikie nehemia aliambiwa ajenge ukuta ni wakati wako you rebuild the wall it doesn't matter how it has been or how things have been it is the high time you rebuild the wall ni nini hiyo ambayo imeumia imeangamia imefika mwisho katika kanisa ni nini hauna ni washirika biblia inaniambia tu all three for my name's sake i am with wherever they are i am with them ni nini hii imekuumiza imekuangamiza wacha kukosa tumaini na mwelekeo wa kazi ya Mungu it is the high time go to your knees hata kama utajenga ukuta kama wenye 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 ulikuwa unaambiwa ya kwamba ukikanyangwa hata na mbwea unaanguka usijali wewe tembea hudumia watu wa Mungu Jehova anakuona Jehova ako na uweza na nguvu katika maisha yako isikia kuvinyangwa na wakati unavinyangwa accept it it is the high time to understand God is there for us It is the high time to know that God has special plans to prosper us and not to ruin us. God has special plan for his work. He is here for us. He is always with us. Embrace this God as we go is going to see you through. The prodigal son understood who he was. And he knew that he was going to make it. He was ready and he was willing and he had faith. That if I go back to my father it doesn't matter how I have wasted his wealth my father is going to embrace me it doesn't matter labda ninapoongea saa hii kuna mtu 25 ninapoanza mwaka huu na nyinyi kuna mtu labda tarehe 25 ulifanya mambo ambayo si mazuri uliingia mahali ambapo ustahili kuingia ulinena mambo ambayo ustahili kunenwa na ilikuwa ni siku ya kusaliwa kwa mwokozi wetu Ninanena na mtu nikwambie ya kwamba God is a God of second chance. Haijarishi ni nini ulinena ni nini ulitoka. Mwana youth ninajua siku hiyo ni siku ambayo watu wengi hufanya mambo ambayo si mazuri na yapendezi. Mimi siku hukumu I'm not here to judge you I'm not a judge. Lakini ninataka siku ya leo nikwambie ya kwamba Mungu ako na uweza na ako na nguvu. So tunapoenda kuomba ninataka mahali ulipo. Wewe ukapiga magoti waambie Mungu akusamee na kaanza 2023 na wewe. Ninanena na mtu ambaye 2023 au kufanya kazi ya Mungu kuna vikwazo ulipata katika njia. Na bandara ya kuendelea na kazi ya Mungu, uliachilia kazi ya Mungu, uliachilia ifanywe na nani? Uliacha kazi ya Mungu kaacha washirika wakiraramika, ukaacha washirika wakiumia. It is the high time to understand who you are. The Lord was ani alijielewa na akajua ya kwamba yeye amepotea na ameenda kinyume na mapenzi ya Mungu alijua ya kwamba mambo ambayo amefanya si mazuri it is the time to shirika it is the time to ngaji it is the time mama katika nyumba yako how have you handled your family 2022 atukai kwa familia juu ya pesa nyumba yako haikuwa na pesa how did you treat your husband atukai kwa nyumba kwa sababu tuko na vitu vingi kuna mambo mengi tuko nayo tuko na matibi kubwa tuko na pesa nyingi tuko na vitu kwa nyumba nyumba imejaa no tunakaa kwa nyumba kwa sababu ya amani na upendo kile ulicho nacho kinatosha 
Kwa sababu wakati unakuja wa Mungu kukuinua na kukubariki, kile unachohitaji God is coming to give you. God is coming to expand you. God is going to usher you. Unataka kuomba na mtu. Unataka kunena na moyo wa mtu ambao ulio chini. Leproni wazani alijielewa. Na wakati alikimbia kwa baba yake akarudi baba yake alimuona kwa mbali akakimbia. Hivyo hivyo ndivyo Mungu anavyotaka siku ya leo. Nataka kuomba na mtu ambaye anasema hakika mimi nilikuwa nime miss the mark. I had come out of the way. Nilikuwa nimetenda dhambi nimepungukiwa. Mambo yangu yalikuwa ni mambo mabaya. Nataka kurudi back. Nataka kunena na moyo wako siku ya leo. Ninapoenda kuomba, ninataka kukuambia ya kwamba ujiandae tayarisha moyo wako kwa sababu Mungu anaenda kukukumbuka na kukushughulikia. The Bronde Gozani alijielewa. Na Bronde Gozani is coming back. Mwana wa Israeli anakuja kujielewa and he is coming back. Tunakaribia enzi za mwisho tafadhali. Kama hujaokoka na hujamkubali Mungu, we don't know about the time or when it is coming. But ndarini zinaonyesha ya kwamba soon and very soon God is coming back to, to us. He is coming to for us. He is coming to take us back to where he promised us to take us to. So as I talk this morning, najua uko mahali pale unajiandaa, unajitayarisha ndukaweze kuomba pamoja. Ukijua ya kwamba Prondi Gozani alitumia roughness, akachukua mali, akaenda na alipoenda aliingia kwa umaraya, akaingia kwa raa kama raa zenye nasema zimekuwa during Christmas season. Alipoingia kwa raa, akaingia kukura, kukunywa, akanyang'anywa. Hivyo ndivyo watu wengi wamefanya. Shetani akikuiba, akikushika, anaenda anakuharibu, anakuvunja bunja, anakuacha na magonjwa, anakuacha ukiwa ujijui ya ujielewi. Siku ya leo ninasema ya kwamba anza kujitayarisha katika mawazo yako ujielewe, ujijue kwa sababu usipojijua usipojielewa, usipokuwa na full admission, hautaweza kutubu dhambi zako na kuendelea katika njia za kumtukuza Jehova usipokuwa na ile hali ya kunyenyekea usipokuwa mtu wa kunyenyekea Mungu hata kutembelea hata kukumbuka na hata weza kukubariki na zile baraka the prodigal son alikuwa na full dimension na akakuwa na ile hali ya kunyenyekea ile hali yake ya kunyenyekea na kwenda back hiyo ndiyo ilimfanya Mungu ilifanya baba yake akaweze kumkubali nami nakwambia siku ya leo you are full and mention and the humility that you have it is the one that will cause god to be touched by you it is the one that will cause god to come to all you to embrace you to put on you the love utabarishwa robe utabarishwa utakatifu utabarishwa the protection that comes from god god is going to usher you to another level the level you have been into might be it has been the level of poverty god is going to take you to another level and meet who you are and meet what you have done and humble yourself if you humble yourself before the lord he is going to lift you up this young man this lost man who was eating with the swine he was lifted up to another level the elder son was left there complaining there is restoration to only them that will understand the elephant that will understand that i have fully to admit that i'm a sinner you are there you are a sinner you are there you have missed the mark you don't know what to do how to do it or, or where to go but god is saying today i give my only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but will have everlasting life i'm talking to somebody ambaye unaishi siku ya leo nasikia in december kabla hija nataka kujimaliza nongea na mtu mahali hapo ambaye yuko na mawazo ya kujifikisha mwisho ninanena na moyo wako siku ya leo hata kama maisha yamekuwa magumu mazito hata kama maisha yamekuwa kiazi hata sikukuu juu vile iliserekewa au kukula kama wengine kukula na kukunywa na kuvaa sio mambo ya sikuku sikuku iliyo kubwa ni kumwasepti Yesu na kusema mimi nimpenda dhambi ninataka kumpokea Yesu ndani ya maisha yangu akaniokoe ambia bwana siku ya leo wewe ni mtenda dhambi ambia bwana siku ya leo wewe unamhitaji piga magoti yako mahali pale uliko kwa sababu the prodigal son alipojivundua akaelewa ya kwamba yeye ni mtenda dhambi akukaa mahali pale kuendelea kukaa na nguruwe kwa nini unaitikia kukaa na nguruwe kwa nini unaitikia kukaa mahali penye pananuka kwa nini una 
umetikia kuendelea kukula chakula ambaye haina dhabana kwa mwili wako toka katika matope toka katika kukula uchafu toka mahali kuna vitu vinenuka ukaanza safari ya kurudi tena ukaambia baba nimekosa nimekosa kwako baba we have to admit if you don't admit and you humble yourself If you don't admit mshirika ya kwamba kuna mahali ulikosea mchungaji. If you don't admit and go back and talk to your spiritual dad, utaanza kanisa na itaendelea. If you don't admit who you are in the house, mama, if you don't admit wewe ni shingo si kichwa, hautaendelea. Hata kama wewe ni mchungaji kama mimi, I cannot be behold my husband. I have to humble myself. I have to admit that I am not I am not a bum him. I am below him. I am the neck. He is the head. I'm talking to somebody there in the house mama. You are there parking because Christmas was not good. I'm talking to baba somewhere there. Umeshika kichiti kwa sababu mama hakukupikia vile ulikuwa unataka. I'm talking to a youth there. Yeah, you have gone and hit with the swine during Christmas. It is the high time to admit. Hata kama kuna mahali kuna kujeruhiwa. The prodigal son hakuona aibu. Wakati tutaona aibu kurudi back, God is not going to accept us. Wakati tutaona aibu ni kwa sababu ya haya mambo tumefanya, God is not going to accept us. It is the high time to kataa aibu. Unapokata aibu you will accept that I've done something wrong. You will accept that I'm not doing well. Thank you, King of Glory. I worship you. I magnify your holy name. Ninakuinua na kurimidi jina lako takatifu. Ninaomba kwa sababu ya yule amekuwa akinisikiliza Jehovah. Kuna wale wameingia kukula na nguruwe, kuna wale wameingia Jehovah wakakula, wakaingia katika hali ya kutojielewa, wakapitia mapito magumu Jehovah. Kuna wale king of glory who are struggling with Jehovah to come out of the situation they are into oh king of glory. Nina wenenea kuinuliwa Jehovah. Ninaomba ukaweze kuinua watu wako na kuonekania. Baba ninaomba ukaokoe mtu ambaye amepotea. Baba muondoe katika kitabu za kifo, ukamweke katika kitabu cha uzima. Kuinuliwa na uinuliwe baba. Ninaomba mwaka huu Jehovah ukae mwaka wa baraka. Ya kwamba watu wote njeoba hawatakula makombo. Hawatakula na nguruwe njeoba. Hawataingia mali hapa stahili oh king of glory. Baba, honekana na utamaraki katika maisha ya watu wako. Naomba juu ya wachungaji, naomba juu ya kanisa zako king of glory. My father mali popote Kenya kaskasini kushini mashariki magharibi jehova ukanenea wachungaji jehova wache watakao kuwa na hudumu 2023 jehova wakawe baraka katika maisha ya watu wako. My father the prodigal son Maria atakuwa nje over wacha kajielewe nje over asikule makombo for long oh god na nimekataana na mipango ya ibilisi ya kuzunati watu from worshiping the true god thank you king of glory i worship you and i exalt you in jesus name i do pray and to you